Scroove did. Okay. Let's keep looking at these ruins. The main thing I didn't want to have done, I guess, is killing those things, because it looks like they tried to communicate with us. Found a ship. ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing. Because if I can avoid fighting those things, that might be good, right? They might be allies. They could be related to the other things that we've seen in the Lynx systems. Atari Lynx. Uh, when did I save? So I saved basically here. That was before I fought that thing. Okay. Which is before I talked to the Trandos. So, yes. Okay. Um, I'll create a new save just in case that was very bad to do. And if I have to reload back to this point, then we can. All right. Any more anomalies or anything else in the system? Check out this planet, I guess. Junk. So they got chased off. Uh, the um, guy said they got chased... Payload delivered. Dumping back to schedule. Overmind message. Captain, we unequipped that Trandal device, but we're still detecting their strange virus in our systems. I don't think we're gonna get rid of it that easy. Uh. I understand. All of the slots on my ship were full, so it couldn't actually have done what they were wanting to do. I may have dodged a bullet there. But, I do want to know... What that would have done. So let's... Oh, we can't equip it. Damn. Oh, this is valuable stuff. Damn, especially in a game like that I, I, I've never really played before like this, and I don't know much about. I don't even know how, uh, like, big a, uh, like, a, if there are, like, FAQs for this stuff. Let's avoid those, those aliens, uh, the things since I got shot. I do want to know what effects of choices that I'm not making are, if that makes any sense. Because to me, it seems like, even though I don't want it to actually happen to me a lot of times, it enriches my, uh, especially my view of the game, when I know that hilarious or just interesting things can happen to you. Okay, I didn't interact with that one. Don't go to the sun. And there's something over there, too. Alpha Navig... Oh, this is their... Okay. Captain, we unequipped that Trandall device, but we're still detecting their strange virus in our systems. I don't think we're going to get rid of it that easily. That's where their homeworld is, I'm guessing. I think they tried to trickify us. But... It seems like we were supposed to do that, so I'm not too worried about it.
that's a big chunk right there. We'll pay for that uh, fuel tank in no time. Now, while it might seem like I'm, I was being very flippant about fuel, I was like, oh, we, we need to go back to Earth anyway. We can't get to place, some places without having a bigger fuel tank. All right. And being stranded in the middle of space is not necessarily good if we're in hostile territory. Although, in the um, drunken space... The, uh, what you call it, said no trouble coming to get us. Apparently the scribe... It seemed like when, when I talked to the scribe one time that they knew that the, um... That the, uh, Taiwan had betrayed them. I don't know if they know that Muke had betrayed them, but, uh, they have. that Trandall ship again? Or it might be a Kazanke ship. I don't know. I'm very bad at recognizing these things. Junk. Okay. Okay, so did it actually give me... Remove the overmine infection from your ship. Um, let's search what is it? Alpha Naviculum Alpha Naviculum uh, Mark with this it could be that it's not their home space, because their home space is marked on the map. It could be that there's something important here. It's very far away. Okay. We could stop at this. We'll head towards it. But we won't go in if we see anything hovering around it. Because the Mi'kmaq ships are pretty good, from what I remember, so... Although we have the Gatling laser thing. We don't want to waste him, because he might be... Okay, let's, uh... I do see stuff. But, the ship... There was a ship that just left. Okay, really just looking for any anomalies here... Maybe? I don't know. It takes fuel to do this, but, uh, you know, anomalies are anomalies. Alright. Whatever that ship was, it wasn't hostile. Because it didn't attack me. Copper, a planet made entirely of copper could have a magnetic field. The copper is not magnetic, obviously, but it can produce electricity, but I think it has to be like something found a ship, producing that electricity with, for, to conduct it. Again. I'm pretty sure like, copper will interact, obviously, um, with magnetic materials. Alright, so let's just head straight there, then. Can't afford to go around. So we'll be passing through this purple space. And the make back that seemed to be hostile. Okay. They didn't attack us, anyway. Who's this? All right. Save the game. Like.
like, I think in getting infected with the virus is actually what we want to do. Oh, look. They blew up their world. I'm guessing these are all Mank Mag dudes. Let's, uh, go to Copper Mess. Uh, okay. I thought this was going to be their homeworld, but, uh, perhaps not. It's another one of these, uh, ships. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying. I mean, we could pick this stuff up. It's not worthless. It's just worth less. <laughs> I mean, I meant to I meant to imply that I was going to pick that up on my way to picking up other things, rather than seeking it out on its own. If it's nearby, I'll pick it up. Alright. Yeah, the majority of the worth on that planet is probably that stuff. No. Okay, so th those are all Mank Mac ships. It would actually be pretty odd, knowing the Mank Mac, if there was actually valuable stuff here. Like, super fluids! Oh, there's robots here. I only have two landers, so I need to be very careful. Let's just go get the super fluids and get out of here. I'm gonna go pick up any, uh... Base metals along the way. I don't know if that jump helped me. Let's get out. Get out. Oh, apparently they can't. Uh, they can't shoot you while you're taking off. Not enough crew. Oh. Okay. That's extremely bad. Okay. No, 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 no. Whatever. Mank, mac. <laughs> Awesome. Kazanti? Whatever. It is the ship. What is left to say, humans? No worse than. Alright. That spread laser sucks. Oh, it shoots behind us, though. This is interesting. I definitely don't want to lose this ship. I just noticed that this thing has a huge battery, too. This thing's pretty tough. You gotta lead him. Seems pretty funny to be leading something with lasers. I suppose you would have to do that at cosmic distances, but this is like interplanetary distances at best. Hey, it's those aliens who tied a Taiwan hyper <laughs> ship. Where did they make me? <laughs> Look at you. I like these. these guys are so funny. We haven't had you yet. <laughs> uh. Anyways, make yourselves at home. Lower your shields, unlock your doors, all that. And sorry about the mess. We just moved in to new, new, new whatever make back. That's why it's still uh, kind of a dump. It's got nothing on old Mank Mac. It uh, got <laughs> destroyed. It's this uh, whole big thing. And we don't mean big thing as in it's a touchy subject that we don't want to talk about. We mean it's literally a big thing. 
old Mankmac was destroyed by a massive moon-sized space monster. Wow. It's this whole big thing. And now it's something <laughs> I don't want to talk about. Come on. Sure. Let's go over our story of unending pain. That sounds like a fun conversation. Old Mankmac and every homeworld we've settled on since has been devoured by a massive space beast called the Ancient One. Technically, he only oh, devours we've... the atmosphere. But technically, we need that to breathe. Which is why we have to move our entire homeworld every so often. He doesn't talk or have a big <laughs> bubble above his head, so it's a little hard to pin down his motivation. He just shows up and starts wrecking everyone's day. But enough about the endless cavalcade of misery and torment which fill our days. What brings you to new, 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 whatever Minkmac, ugly alien? Well, you're not a member of the Scribe Empire, which means you must be looking for allies and assistance this guy's to fight smart. the Scribe. <laughs> Good luck with that. Can we have your stuff when you die, <laughs> space idiots? We're not fighting the Scribe. We like being unexploded, thanks. But until you guys kill yourselves, you're welcome to come hang out whenever you want. Oh, and let us know if you want to buy anything. We've got suspiciously <laughs> great deals. A lot of suspiciously great deals. Oh, uh, that. Yeah, technically we're supposed to annihilate you because of, you know, the rules. But you seem cool. We'll talk to the fleet and let them know to hold off on following um. the rules around you. Oh, we can tell you lots of things about ourselves. <laughs> Unless you need them to be true, then we'll tell you quite a bit less. Okay. Our homeworld is regularly devoured by a massive space beast called the Ancient One. Technically, he only devours the atmosphere, but technically, which is why we have to move our entire homeworld every so often. Fly underneath him? <laughs> Look up. If your parents didn't explain this to your parents, <laughs> don't want to get into Space it. Space balls! Uh, you live out of suitcases a lot. Honestly, a lot of make mech die each time. It's really sad, so... Uh, so, we we'll probably need to help these up. guys. We're not, it's fine. We breed fast, which is its own kind of fun. What with the candles and the music and the belly crawling out of the surf to fertilize a clutch of eggs buried in the sand. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> I changed my mind about the guy the the uh, other guy being the best voice actor. The, these guys. These guys are the best. Yes, let's talk about something else other than our long-running planetary yeah, tragedy. <laughs> Just kidding. You're all right. You. Okay. The hate field seeks limp monstrosities who regularly buy and sell us? We love them. What else you look like you have six limbs. Know? A measured vessel crashed on our planet. We promised to help fix it for them. Then we fixed it for them. <laughs> then we took it. They're the scribe empire's administrators, like the living embodiment of whatever the fraud opposite of fraud is. It's like their, yeah. They've got all the forms and papers that explain why people aren't allowed to have fun. They appear wow. to get off on it. That's an even longer story. Involving some fast talking, and not a little fraud. Also, they enslaved a bunch of us. That was a big part of it. Us? Yeah, sure. Let's get in a war with the hate field six limb monstrosities. Are they big? Are the scribe really big? Hmm. All right. 
disabled scribe genetic engineering program. We've heard of that. I mean, obviously no natural process could have resulted in the drinking. When they dragged us into their empire, the scribe said they were going to do the same to us. But, uh, we don't think they've gotten around to it. We certainly haven't seen any of them loitering around while we, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Not necessarily. We get pretty into it. But you are basically right. We don't love this crowd. For a while, they had this thing where they like to kinetically bombard our weddings. Pillars of steel raining down on top of the make bride and make groom. <laughs> it was upsetting. <laughs> but if you can get over that and be pet nappings. Pet nappings. It's not that hard living with this crowd. Just tell them how great their empire is. They love that. We know what you're talking about, though. We've heard some other aliens ah, this is information shooting this scribe. But honestly, that's bad for business. This scribe have no patience for our chuckles or hijinks anymore. We think it might be the Pinty, or maybe the Famished. Have you met them yet? I don't think they are. They're super powerful warriors. If you're trying to defeat this guy, you'll This sounds like a lie. Their homeworld is in Beta Ishikawa A. Make sure to wear something with zippers when you visit. They'll uh they'll like that. <laughs> this sounds sinister. Mm, lots. Do you enjoy having your insides liquefy and yes. pour out your face holes? Then you will mm -hmm. love the pin. Yeah, cool. More questions. This isn't getting tiring at all. all right. Because, as you have no doubt noticed yourself, we have extremely <laughs> trustworthy faces. Yeah, we're not super well liked. Aliens with worse faces have these morals which always seem to conflict with ours. We get along great with handsome species, though. Gollum <laughs> too. Like the squids, the muke, they always think the best of everyone. Also, the weird little freaks with the handsets. We took their uh, mobile assistants. Not all of them. They had a ton. But they were pretty important to them. There were lots of leaking eyes and stamping feet when we did that. I think those are the guys we just met. The Trandals. Lots of things. For example, they're super interested in ice worlds. And for a small fee, we tell them where to find those. We have never once <laughs> been right. Typically send them to desert worlds, volcano planets. Once it was just a moon <laughs> painted white. Oh come on! It's not hilarious. It's just okay. But honestly, they kind of deserve it. They're just so condescending. It's good to take them down a peg or two. You are really into yep. these questions. That's what this game's about. Asking questions to Spaceman. Oh, all the time. We're being mostly honest right now. <laughs> or are we? But yes, we are. Honestly, honesty just isn't that much fun. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> oh, so you're done mocking our appearance and lifestyle and everything? That's cool. Alright. Is there anything else? Let's see what they have for sale now. Rider? In our dealings with other aliens, we often acquire, through totally legitimate and morally untroubling means, interesting bits of technology. We would like to sell you these bits of technology. <laughs> you can take them to your garbage ship, just like you did with that alien. I like the pirate. idea of duct tape. So is uh you interested? So at 
the moment we have the following items the available for objects of the um a hyperdrive that belonged to an alien who definitely wanted to give it up a mankmak negotiator class vessel useful for ruining Constant various duct tape. people's days an enhanced collector for improving the grabbing range of your various terrestrial base we already have that grabbers. In the I do want the hyperdrive you, though 30 what Probably supposed to buy this. Uh, not now. Yeah, you're lost. Aha. Let's get, okay, so we can buy fuel here. That's good. Yeah, that would be like a third of our our stuff. We can sell things though. I'll go buy these dudes. These guys are not worth not worth it. Oh, the bashers are actually worth less than these these easy ones. Alright. Let's see if that um Francie may have still need. We'll see how much we have if, after we're done with this. Oh man. Just need a little bit more. Wish we could buy crew. <sighs> Other oh, shippy things. Yeah, let's buy it. And then let's loot their system since we can. Sell things here. It's like nothing. Oh, palladium. Oh, you're right, right. I don't have enough crew. So we need to go back to Earth. We can get back to Earth. Yeah, we need to go back to Earth. And you know what? Before we do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that hyperdrive since we got we got enough that from that uh, so from that selling spree. Welcome back, aliens of the garbage ship. So at the moment, a hyperdrive, a mank, an enhanced collect. Any of that interest you? Uh, Possibly still in hyperdrive. Eh, you're lost. I'm pretty sure we have the enhanced collector. See you later, garbage. Like, it might be that... Mysterious upgrades. Troubling book. All of its serial numbers have been filed off. I keep doing that. Okay. Let's go back to Earth, because we don't have enough crew to land anywhere. And then we'll check out... Calling an Epsilon Trireme. It's possible that we don't want to go back to Earth, but we have to. Get out of the way. So, if we need to get rid of this, who can get rid of it for us? Can't land anywhere, so we kind of have to... Um... Go back and get fuel regardless... Uh, get crew, rather, regardless of what we do. So we only got four people left in the old Fwifo here. One of which is presumably me. 